All right, you guys out there in YouTube land, I haven't posted in quite a while, but uh, um, I'm back. I've been pretty busy with all this stuff going on out there in society, um, the coronavirus and all that. Uh, I've been pretty cooped up inside, and and I've got a lot of stuff down in the garage, uh, a lot of stuff out in the garage done. I just haven't been posting. But anyway, what this is, this is a, a 40 inch lake trout. He's upside down, obviously. He's hanging in here because I'm getting ready to powder coat him. And this is going to go out to a good friend of mine named Shane. Um, he has a company out of Rock Springs. He fishes Flaming Gorge, Utah. And his his uh, business name is Recon Angling. If you guys want to look him up, he, he offers a guide service out there and, and can put you on some nice fish. But anyway, because I needed to do this fish and other projects, um, some Honda 73 wheeler frames, them ATC 70s, I needed a bigger oven. So necessity drove me to build this out of an old chest freezer, which is very, very rude and very crude, but it works really, really well. And what I've done is I've gutted the old kitchen oven that I had, and I put the burners down here in the bottom, and I took out all the wiring that I did not need for the top burners and everything else. The only thing that works is the bake. And I ran the bottom burner and the broiler in series. They both run on the same. So when I turn this to 400 degrees on here, it fires both of them up. And this will get up to temperature in, oh, about seven minutes. And it holds temperature really well. And I'm actually pretty happy with it. It's still, I still have some stuff to do. So I, I took an old chest freezer and I gutted the inside of it, took all the foam out of it and wrapped the outside with 18 gauge sheet metal, both sides. Um, I still have, I still have a piece to put in here, but for now I've got to get this stuff done. Um, and then I've, I've lined the whole entire thing with three and a half inches of rock wool and you can get that at Home Depot and it's three and a half inches completely around the bottom, all the sides. And then my door that was the freezer door, it still has the original insulation inside, which I put the oven racks, they fit perfect in there with some um, aluminum foil to hold all that insulation in so it doesn't fall down on my powder as it's baking. So anyway, that's it's rude and it's crude, like I said, but it works really, really well. And I needed something big enough I could start doing some Honda 70 three-wheeler frames in here, which now I've got enough room for that. I actually think I could put in a couple good sets of some maybe some 20 inch wheels in here too. Um, I run Eastwood. Here's my powder coat system. I run the Eastwood um, powder coat. This is the single voltage, which you know maybe one day I'll upgrade to the dual. But right now this works for what I got and different powders, bags of power. I buy, I buy them in the one pound bag of powder. And uh, this stuff that I'm running on this fish right now is an oil brushed bronze. And I'm going to set this up and we'll we'll spray this thing out and we'll put him in the oven and we'll see what it looks like when it comes out. Okay, let's get after it. Okay, there's a good even coat on there right now and we'll flip him around and do the other side. Um, you can see the dust in the air. <laughs> I can see that on here. Um, right now I've got a fifth wheel on the other side of this wall and I cannot get to. I'm going to cut a hole in here and put an exhaust fan eventually. And so I've just got this built up around here right now. It catches most of the stuff that falls and I can just vacuum it up in here. Um, let me flip this around, we'll do the other side, and we'll get him in the oven. Awkward. Big and awkward. Alright. 
put our ground back on here. And I always like to just bump it and make sure I'm getting get it to spark out. That's got a good ground now and go ahead and finish him out. So this fish right here, uh, Shane's going to use it I believe for his uh, clients. It's got hooks along the back side that, uh, and some handles so when they get their catches they can hang their fish from here and uh, they can get their pictures with his uh, business logo and I think it'd be kind of kind of neat. I think we about got her there. I'm about ready to throw him in the oven. Looks good. Let's get it in the oven. Alright, so there he is. We've got the fish down in the oven now. And I've got to put him on slightly an angle. He said he's 40 inches long and my oven's 3 foot. So uh, we will get this fired up. We'll get it preheated. And once it uh, preheats, we'll give this 20 minutes. Lids on. And we'll come in here and we'll do... Let's do 400 degrees. Preheats on, like I said, about seven minutes. And one other thing I do, I don't, like I said, the whole, the, all the slides are three and a half inches here. My top's not three and a half inches. So uh, what I do is I throw this, let me set you there and I'll show you what I got going on here. I got these little heavy insulated welding blankets from, from Harbor Freight and I just put this on just a little bit extra. Get him all tucked in there, under the blanket, ready to go. And well, that's preheating. We'll go out here and show you what I got going on in the garage. Out here in the old garage, stuff that I've got going on is this uh, Honda ATC 70, which is missing the motor, um, which is it's sitting right there. I've got a big bore kit coming for it tomorrow, which I'll do a video on that. Um, got the Cub Cadet 149, which you guys are. Wanting to see that video done, I've, I've got to pull this scabbed in bracket out of there and send that out for powder coat, uh, excuse me, sandblast and powder coat. Same with this right here, the fenders and the stock hood and all the components, that's all got to go out for sandblast. Lots of stuff going on out here in the garage. I've got another snow mutt that's in the works. This is a 20 inch wide track where... Uh, this is this one's a friend of mine, so I'm going to be building handlebars for it. But these these old snowmobiles or the newer snowmobiles are 15 inches wide versus the old ones. I think this is 20 inches wide. I'm going to be building a frame for this guy out of aluminum, which I picked up a new welder sitting right over there. That guy right on top is a Miller 180 Auto Set. I've got a spool gun for it, so we can start welding some stuff out in aluminum. But uh, my wife is not happy with all the projects I've got sitting in here. It's a, it's a hazard. I've got to start going through this stuff and get some videos made. So stay tuned. All right. She's about done. There it is in 20 minutes. Okay. Get this thing unwrapped and see what it looks like. Just turn the oven off. There he is, all cooked up. Pull him out and let him cool down. See what it looks like in some good light. Okay, there's that one out of the oven. Turned out really nice. I'm happy with it. The oil brush bronze really looks good. And uh, we'll get this sent out to uh, Shane and he can use that for his clients. Anyway, thanks for watching the video.
If you like this kind of thing, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, appreciate it. Have a good night.